Hey guys, it's Rosie. Today's video is going to be a response to Beauty Crush's tag, 10 Little Secrets. Basically, I'm going to answer 10 secrets and you guys are going to listen, hopefully. Um, I actually talked about this product in my 5 life-changing product video, which I will link below in the description box. But um, just to sum it up shortly, my favorite product is Bare Minerals Foundations. It makes me feel like a million dollars because it makes my skin, I feel, look pretty flawless. And um, I also like it because I don't feel like I'm wearing any makeup, so it just makes me feel like I'm really comfortable in my own skin when I'm wearing it. Okay, so my skincare secret is to use the following two products every day at the morning and at night. The first is Purpose uh, Skincare Lotion by Johnson & Johnson. This just makes my skin perfectly moisturized without being greasy, and um, more importantly, I think it has SPF in it, so every time I go outside, I'm protected, and hopefully I won't have as many wrinkles when I get older. Um, the second product is Thayer's Witch Hazel. Um, it smells amazing, and it like removes so much dirt from my face. Like I'll wash my face and think it looks and feels clean, and then I'll use this, and it's kind of disgusting how much stuff comes out of my pores, but it works amazingly, and my skin looks great. Share your hair care secret. Okay, so, hmm, I have a lot of hair care rules. Um, one would be, like, don't dye your hair unless, like, you really hate the color that your hair is, I guess. I never dye my hair, and I think it just makes it so much healthier and so much more manageable, and I get compliments on my hair a lot, and I think that if I were to use harsh chemicals on it, it wouldn't look as nice. The other thing is I really like getting my hair cut with a razor, so I don't know if this would be good for every hair type, but for my hair type, I think getting a haircut with a razor just makes it look a million times better. It makes it like swish around more naturally and look awesome. Hmm, um, my biggest diet rule is to not eat fried food. I feel like if you can eliminate two things, fried food and soda, then like you're doing pretty good. Like you are gonna lose weight if you even just eliminate those two things completely from your diet. Well, this was also in my life-changing product video and um, my favorite workout hands down, I do it almost every day, is Physique 57. It's, um, they offer classes in New York City and LA, but they also have DVDs. They're just amazing videos. They're such good workouts without being too high intensity. So like you feel the burn, you feel like you're exercising, but um, you want to come back for more. It's addicting and it's also really, really, really effective. Um, I highly recommend it. My perfume is pretty much the only perfume I use, um, is Miracle by Lancome. Um, not a lot of people have ever heard of it. When people ask me, like, they'll say, oh, like, you smell so good, what are you wearing? And I tell them they've never heard of Miracle by Lancome. I don't know if it's, like, an old lady perfume. I really don't think it is. It smells so nice. Um, I'm not good at s describing odors, but it's not sweet. Like, it's not very sweet. I don't know how to describe it. It's just, if you're ever at the mall, spray a little Miracle by Lancome on you, you will not regret it. Okay, so I'm going to show a shoe. I know it's not exactly clothes, but, you know, it's like part of your outfit. So, um, this is my <laughs> turning head clothes item. I know it's kind of, like, it's not that exciting. Like, it's just a boot, and everyone has boots like these. But this boot's a child size boot because my feet are so small. I have to wear kids shoes and people just like see me in these like mini versions of their boots and they, they, I can't tell you how many times I get stopped on the street and people are like, oh my gosh, I love your shoes or what size shoes are those? They're so cute. These shoes probably turn people's head the most, which I think, I personally think it's hilarious. But um, yeah, sorry, it's nothing more exciting than that. Number eight. My most treasured piece of jewelry is this antique little ring that I wear on my finger. It looks like this. It's turquoise and silver, and 
I mean, A, I think it's really cute. I just think it would look cute on anybody. But B, I have a lot of trouble finding rings that fit my tiny fingers. And I think this one's really stylish and really cute. I think it's so cute. I love it. And um, I get a lot of compliments on it when I wear it, too. Hmm. Okay, so I don't really have... I know it sounds bad. I have, like, a very... My style is very mixed. I don't have, like, one person. That's, like, really hard to pick. I... I kind of just buy what I like. Um, I don't really try to imitate people too often, honestly. Um, I live in New York City, so sometimes like when I see people wearing things on the street, I'll be like, oh, I need to I need to get that. I guess if I had to pick someone, it would be Chelsea Kane um, because I just a lot of people tell me I look like her. So I started kind of paying more attention to her and like Googling her to see like, oh, do I look like this girl? And she has really, really cute style. So. Um, I would ha if I had to pick anyone, I would say her. Hmm. Okay, well, you really don't know a lot of things about me. <sighs> I'm trying to think of something interesting to tell you. Oh, okay, I have one. When I was um, five years old, my hair caught on fire, and because of that, I'm now deathly afraid of fire. When I was five, I was really short, and I was at my friend's birthday party, and Somebody thought it was a good idea to give every kid their own individually lit cupcake. And I was just talking to my friend and I had a side ponytail in because that was like the style at the time. And my ponytail went right into the cupcake because my head was like barely above the level of the table. So my side ponytail caught on fire and my mom like caught it on tape. So we have the whole thing on tape. And nothing bad happened, like, as soon as my mom noticed it, she, like, ran over to me. Like, you can see the camera fall and, like, fill in the ceiling. But um, she, like, clapped the fire out of my hair for me. So thank you, Mom, for saving my life and allowing me to post videos on YouTube. So yeah, I survived my hair being on fire. Um, I, yeah, I hate fire. But okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, Beauty Crush, for um, making this tag. It was super fun. Talk to you later. Subscribe to my channel, Rosie Reviews. I know you want to.